Hey everyone, in this video we're going to run through how to retarget your Rococo Motion Capture FBX to an Unreal Engine 4 mannequin. So this is a pretty easy process and once we've done that we'll take a look at retargeting to some of the free super high quality Paragon characters that are on the Epic Store. Let's get started. So first things first, we need to record some mocap before we jump into Unreal. Here I am in my Smart Suit Pro and Smart Gloves, and I will just record some idle motions and then maybe a little boxing or something. Once I have that, I'll export an FBX out. When importing mocap into Unreal, your FBX needs to have a body mesh as well, so make sure that that is checked. I'm also going to use a Maya Human IK skeleton because I find it is usually the most reliable and universal skeleton and it works for this workflow. I'll hit export and then we can jump over to Unreal. So I'm going to start a fresh Unreal project for this, and I'm going to choose the third person example project to work in. This means that we'll already have an Unreal mannequin in our content browser when we open up the project. I will create a new folder called Rococo Animation. And then I'll jump into that folder and go to Import Asset and then go find the mocap we just exported from Rococo Studio. I could also drag this mocap directly into the content browser, but either way, once we import, we will make sure the skeleton field here is clear, and then we'll also expand this window out and check use T0 as ref pose and import morph targets. I'll also make sure that import animations is checked because obviously we want the mocap animation. Then I'll hit import all. After that import, we will have our mocap animation in Unreal. And if we double click on the animation here, you can see it playing through. Okay, so there are a few things that we have to set up to get this mocap onto the standard UE4 mannequin. First, let's double click on our animation skeleton. So we need to assign a rig to this skeleton, so select Humanoid under the drop down here. Then we'll need to go through and fill out all of these target bones. So you can hit auto map, but it will fill out these bones with some really funky options. So I actually find it's better to just do it all from scratch. I will time lapse through this. And then once you've filled in the base joints, you can hit advanced and that will show the finger bones. You only have to do this if you are retargeting finger data as well as body data. You'll notice that we're going to leave these twist bones blank as well as some of the options at the bottom here. We just wanna fill out the finger bones on this advanced page. The nice thing is that after you've done this once, you can hit save here and then you won't have to do it again. This will save this bone map that you just filled out, and you can actually use this bone map, you can copy it and bring it into new projects, so you don't have to do this again as long as you're using the same skeleton. So hit save, and then we also have to make sure that there is a preview mesh applied to this skeleton. So under mesh over here, you just click apply to asset for the preview mesh. If there's no button here, it means that there's already a mesh applied. Okay, hit save again, and then we can jump back into our main window. So now we'll head over to the Unreal Mannequin folder under Content, Mannequin, Character, and then Mesh. Double click on the Mannequin Skeleton, and then select a Humanoid Rig for the Mannequin as well. Because this Mannequin is standard to Unreal, you won't have to edit this list and fill it out at all, However, you can go through and delete those twist bones and as well as those other bones that you left blank on your animation skeleton. Finally, our starting animation for the mannequin has to be the same as the pose that our mocap starts in, 
which is a T pose. It will always be a T pose for Rococo Studio mocap. You can see here that this mannequin is currently at an A pose with its arms angled down, and this will give us funky results if we retarget it like this. So to fix this, we will first show the bones in the scene by clicking character, bones, all hierarchy. So now we can see the bones. And then we just need to rotate the arm bones so that they are in a T pose. I will also adjust the lower arm bones so that they form one straight line in the T-pose. If your animation has finger data like ours does as well, then you'll also want to repose the thumbs so that they lie flat alongside the fingers. Once this is done, I will come down to the Modify Pose in the Retarget Manager and then click Use Current Pose. This is super important, and if you don't do this, then this skeleton will just go back to the A pose. Now we can hit Save, and we are ready to retarget our mocap. So we'll head back to our Rococo Animation folder, right click on our animation, and then go to Retarget Anim Assets, and then Duplicate Anim Assets and Retarget. So if you don't see anything in this source panel on the left, it's because you didn't assign that preview mesh to your animation skeleton earlier. However, if you do see the preview mesh in here, then you can just select the Unreal Mannequin Skeleton. And as you can see, these two are both in T-Pose now. And then we can hit Retarget. And there we go, if we drag this animation into our scene and hit play, we can see the animation playing out on the standard UE4 mannequin. So that's the basic retargeting process, but let's go ahead and retarget this mocap to some Paragon characters as well. If we head to the Epic Marketplace and type in Paragon, we can find a bunch of awesome, super high quality characters that are completely free from the video game Paragon. We can add this Greystone character to our scene. Sometimes this retargeting process can get a little bit messy with characters that don't have human proportions or human skeletons, and we hope to do more tutorials in the future on how to retarget to characters with really different proportions. There's lots of tutorials on YouTube as well about this, and again, we will get into this in longer videos in the future. Once this Greystone character is imported, we can navigate to the Mesh folder for the character. Then we will click on the skeleton and follow the same process that we did for the mannequin. We will assign a humanoid rig. We'll get rid of some of those twist bones. Although sometimes for characters, you might want to leave this in. It just might require some experimentation on your part. And then finally, always make sure to reposition the bones of the skeleton to that T pose. And then you have to hit modify pose, use current pose after that repositioning. Again, remember if you don't reposition your character to a T-pose, you're going to get very odd results for the arms when you do your retargeting. So now we jump back to our Rococo animation, and we right-click it, and go to Duplicate Anim Assets and Retarget, and this time we should see our Greystone character in this list. Again, they are both in T-pose. And now if we hit Retarget, there we go. We have this awesome Paragon character now using the same mocap as our mannequin. So here I have a few more characters that I retargeted this to. Again, some of the Paragon characters are no longer compatible with 4.26, so you might not be able to use all of them. And again, you might have some funky results with some of the characters that are less humanoid and have less humanoid skeletons. 
but there are tons of tutorials on YouTube again covering how to fix some of these issues. So we will cover that in a longer video in the future or you can find that out on your own on YouTube. And this process might require some tweaking for characters that don't have humanoid proportions or humanoid skeletons, but for characters that are humanoid, this is a fast and easy way to get your custom mocap working with them. So we hope this tutorial was helpful and you can check out our other Unreal videos for more information. And you can also leave any questions you may have in the comments below and we'll do our best to answer them. Thanks so much everyone and stay tuned for more Unreal content coming in the future. Thanks.